You know, I said I was going to review uh, this set after I collect the other two first, but you know what? Who cares? I'm just going to review it now. So this is the Brick Bounty, the ship, and uh, here is the box. There we go. This is it. This is the manual. It's one manual, and I like it when there's double manuals more, just because of the fact, like on big sets, when there's a double manual, or when there's more than one manual, because then like if you're building something with a friend or a family member, or with like multiple people, they can like each do different parts of the book, because usually there's different books showing different parts, and at the end of the book you connect like the two parts, like like um, on some ships I think like the captain's cabin has a separate manual, um, Half of the hole has like this. The hole has a manual, and then the sails have a manual. But this is just one piece. So first, let's take a look at the minifigs, the minifigures here. Here is the captain. He looks like a stereotypical pirate. Uh, he has his the hat here, the feather piece, an epaulets, the his front here, his peg leg, hook, sword, eye patch. I think I said that beard. So that's all that stereotypical pirates need. All of that plus a beard somewhere in their name. So yeah. Then here is the pirate's first mate or the uh, quartermaster. So I used some extra pieces of swords from like the different sets. So he has an eye patch, a mustache. Oh yeah, and I forgot to show you his back printing here. And there's this guy. He has a tattoo, um, an open shirt. In the back here, you see some like leather or cloth sewed on. Here is the cook. As you see, there's a dead fish on him, and he has a hairy chest and an eye patch, and he's lost some teeth. Then here's his frying pan, and then there. And there's Cabin Boy, as you see he has shorter legs than everyone else. These are the non-moving legs. Then he has a telescope here. And he's got freckles and a bandana. And then here's his back. <clears throat> then here is the Admiral. I think this is a very cool minifig. Um So he's supposed to come with a sword but I use one of the extra pieces as a pistol then here's this golden epaulets I really like this hair piece it looks kinda like a you know George Washington hair piece Thomas Jefferson George Washington or just steer just like a generic like admiral hair piece this this minifigure kind of reminds me a lot of the um, Commodore Norrington from Pirates of the Caribbean of course they hadn't made a minifigure for him but that's when he was like not in off duty he had like facial hair and he was had all ragged clothes it's from that scene but it didn't show him like in uniform then he's like shaven completely then here is his back and he does have a double-sided face his face looks scared i really like this minifig there's also the governor which is in the soldier's fort but this is the admiral here is the imperial officer the white epaulets, um, blue, um, blue uniform, and then here's his back. Then here is the normal soldier. Um, he has his musket piece here. The front white epaulets, a shako hat. Here's his pack. And then here is the sawfish or shark, right? I don't know. But this is not like the shark. This is not the shark that can eat a whole minifigure. 
but it's still a really cool looking shark. And here is the boat with the lantern on the front, the stud shooter on the back, basically a small cannon, extra stud shooter pieces, and it's blue for the blue coats, and then the brown ones are for the pirates. So let's take a look at the actual ship. So let's start with the front and make our way back. So here on the front is the bow or bow. I don't really know how to say it. Then here's the bow sprit, and then on connected to the bow sprit here is the figurehead. Who holds a sword? Who's a skeleton? Who holds a sword? And a hat. Well, and I just put one of the extra pieces, which was a sword. So I so that he has two swords. And probably this was the captain of the ship before the pirates stole, like took it, because pirates take over ships. And maybe this was like an imperial ship or something. And then the um, captain of the ship like was killed and then they use the skeleton as a figurehead which shows that they're pretty cruel and perhaps perhaps they like just put his corpse on and then the sea washed it until his body turned into a skeleton yes that's just how bad they are then here's the bow rail and then here is the anchor, which you can turn this knob right here to lower it when you want to dock your ship or raise the anchor when you're setting sail. Then here is the sail. I don't know what the sail is exactly called, but you know, it's on all ships, sailing ships. Then, uh, then here's the mast, first mast. Most ships have three masts, technically, like the foremast, main mast, and mizzen mast, but, uh, or mizzen mast, I don't know. But since, I just consider this the main mast, but you can consider this one if you want, but I consider this one the main mast. So, here is the mast, as you see, as you can see, it has some rigging they make it like plastic and not uh string i know there's lego sets with string on it but it makes sense that they didn't use string so that like legos can lego minifigures can like clip their hands on and then here is like a thing some clips where you could probably put some weapons on then higher up you can see a chain where they carry cargo probably like a treasure chest or something and also, there's a little thing here where you could probably clip a minifig's hand on in case they're, like, swinging or something to another ship, like, just like in the movies. And the only minifig I have right now whose hands are free is this soldier guy who has at least one hand free. So, so... Oh my gosh. Anyway, so there we go. So he's hanging on there. And anyway, you can move this, which is pretty cool. Then here's the top here. I think this is called a top. And this is where they can, like. Hold on, I'm just gonna take this off. It's really bothering me. Anyway, there's the top where the mini figs can shoot. And then here is the crow's nest and the pirate flag. Then here, the Jolly Roger is on the sails. <clears throat> and then let's, um, same thing on this mast, except it has a red thing. However, on the box and in the instruction manual, it shows this pirate flag to actually be back here. But it just made more sense to me that it's up here because there's like normally nothing up here. And ah, 
this. So let's take a look at the deck here. So here's the cannons, and you can open up the flaps. So it comes with two cannons, but you can hold four cannons in case you get other cannons. You can put them here, and then it comes with a crate full of cannon things, and they shoot. So that is really cool. Then I'm just going to show you this side. Same thing. Then I'm going to. Here's a little tour around the cabin. So here is a two-piece window with a sticker on it. Here is a normal window that opens from the outside. These are two smaller windows that open. So you can like look. It's fun to like look inside there. Then down here is the rudder. And it's also fun to like, like do that. Here's the same side as the left side. I mean, the same thing as the left side. You can also kind of open it. Then here's the top here. And top of the cabin. Top deck. I, um, I don't know. Then here's the lanterns. Here's the wheel, which is really fun to spin. Then here's the swivel cannon, which you can also fire. And then you can take this off to reveal the cabin. So here's the door. Here's a look at it from the outside. I consider this, this is like open, but it has a, like a little table on it. I consider that like the workplace for the cook when he's like using his pan or something to fry something with it gonna put that over here and then he's going to be standing here where he's gonna cook his food <coughs> anyways here's the inside of the cabin just to show you around a little you can see the windows So, here, uh, this is kind of hard to show, but here, as you can see, there's like two lights, and then there is a sextant right here. And then there's the map piece right here, which is actually on a stud. And it's not like all four on a table, like it's not like on a two by two thing, because that would be kind of difficult to like to take off. And at the same time, it looks better because like it's kind of like diagonal, which makes it look more natural, like like something on the table. So here's the map. Pretty cool detail. On uh, focus. Anyway, so it's kind of like a looks like an old map from the 1700s. And it has like you can see the land, the sea, and then you can see the the ship right there, and then the thing that points north, <clears throat> and then the X that marks the spot. And for every single pirate, for like all the pirate waves, they had different things. Like the '90s pirates had a different flag, the 2009 had a different flag, and this one does. So that's nice. I think it has a different one. And then Pirates of the Caribbean has that round flag, uh, like for Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, like had the round flag from in the movie used in the third one and the fourth one movie and then here is the table with the rum and whiskey and oh yeah so you can lift it to reveal the secret compartment where the pirates hold their treasure so here it is so it comes with some gems, and then it also comes with skeleton legs. And a lot of people will wonder why they're skeleton legs, but this probably explains why. The figurehead is a skeleton, and it's connected, but it is only the torso and the head and the arms. It's 
like the legs are not connected. Like the torso is connected straight to the bowsprit. So here are the skeleton legs, so that probably explains why. If they didn't want the legs, why did they why didn't they just throw it overboard or something? <clears throat> I guess they wanted to keep that too. Or use them to like ward off people from the treasure. If they ever do find it. So I'm gonna put it back in oh my gosh. In there. So thanks for watching. I got this from my um step uncle. I mean what am I saying? My step grandpa and he gave it to me as an early birthday present and it's not my birthday yet but he gave me the money for it which I'm really thankful for because I really love this ship and hoping to make some stop motions with it and yeah I'm going to like show you a 360 view of the whole ship so So yeah, thanks for watching.